Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to take me out to the ball game, okay? Good luck with this one. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of chords. We're going to need a D chord. Four, three, and two strings at the second fret. Open first string. It's in three, four times, so my strum is going to be down, down, up, down, up, okay? Down, down, up, down, up. Just like that, okay? Three, four times. So a D chord. How about the A chord? Uh, fourth string, second fret. Third string, first fret, and I just pivot. I got my D chord. I already got that finger down. I just use it as my uh, pivot finger, and I go to the third string, first fret. That's my A chord. Uh, another chord I'm going to need is A7, which is easy. It's third string, first fret. Uh, I'm going to need a B7 chord. I'm going to bar the second fret and hold down the third string, third fret. That's my B7 chord. Uh, e minor is the first string, second fret, second string, third fret, third string, fourth fret. E7 is the fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. Uh, D7 is the fourth string and the second string at the second fret. Then I need a G chord, uh, third string and first string at the second fret, second string, third fret. Uh, e minor 7, uh, the, it comes right after the G, um, and all you really have to do is pick up your ring finger and then you'd have it, but I'm going to twist around and use a different fingering because the next chord is going to be difficult to get to. So for my E minor 7, I'm going to go 3rd string and 1st string at the 2nd fret, but I'm going to use my 2 and 3 fingers. That way my next chord is a B flat 7. I can pivot on my middle finger, leave it down, and just bar the whole first fret. So the B flat seven is you bar the first fret, sec, uh, third string second fret. Okay. So if I did my G like this, and then E minor seven, and then I'd have to twist around for the B flat seven. But because I changed my fingering for the E minor seven, it becomes easier. Maybe not what I did there, but there you go. <laughs> That's better. All right. Uh, at the end of the song, you could do a fancy D chord if you want. You could bar the whole second fret, put your pinky on the first string, fifth fret, just like that. Okay, I might do that. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, three, four time, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go kind of slow, okay? Mostly for me. All right, so a D chord. Uh, D to an A chord. To an A7, B7, to an E minor, E7, to an A7, D, to an A, D, to D7, to G, E minor 7, to B flat 7, to D, B7, E7, A7, and then the D. Oh, I did do that one. There you go. All right, pretty easy. Uh, the strum is down, down, up, down, up. Okay? Um, I had to practice this a little bit to get them uh, smoothed out. Uh, some of these chords are not necessarily your everyday chords. Um, okay? So we'll try it one more time. You got D to an A, and both for two measures. D for two measures, A set, oh, D for two measures, sorry. And then A7 for two measures. B7 for two measures, then the E minor for two measures. E7 for two measures, and then the A7 for two measures. D for two measures, to A for two measures. D for one, D7 for one, and then G for two. E minor seven for one, B flat seven for one, D for one, and then B7 for one, E7 for one, A7 for one, and D. take me out to the ball game. Uh, play more Ook. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, thanks.